Yo guys, this is Atrix here. As you can see, I am emulating Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu on my 2 year old Poco X3 Pro Android device with 6GB RAM and Snapdragon 860 processor. If we just go ahead and take a look at the top left corner, I am getting 60 FPS while screen recording and while emulating Let's Go Pikachu on Skyline emulator on my Poco X3 Pro device. Now you'll be like, this is only limited to inside house. But no, as soon as you exit the house, the frame rate will decrease a little bit. But then again it will be back up to 30 fps if you guys don't know then uh, nintendo caps pokemon games to 30 fps so outside house you'll only get 30 fps you won't be getting more than that so today in this video i'll be showing you a trick which will boost your fps while emulating pokemon let's go pikachu on android so let's get started and i advise you guys to turn up the video quality to 1080p 60 fps so you can see the results bro it's crazy now let me show you guys a trick which i'm using i link a save file in description box below and tutorial of how to add save file in pokemon let's go pikachu because it's very important once you open the game using that save file you'll have to go to a pokemon center okay once you enter pokemon center wait for a few seconds and you will see the fps difference now what you have to do is just go ahead and uh, return arcanine to its pokeball so that uh, it will decrease some sort of load on your cpu and yes you will need a good snapdragon android device if you want to emulate pokemon let's go pikachu i tried this trick on my xiaomi 11t pro which has snapdragon 888 and it didn't work bro i was getting same fps but in poco x3 pro as you can see once i send my arcanine to its pokeball you can see we are literally getting 30 fps while emulating let's go pikachu on android so the trick is simple what you'll need to do is just add the turnip adreno version 17 driver and install a uh, skyline emulator set it up on a uh, flagship android device <laughs> i mean uh, to get more fps what you'll need to do is just uh, go download the save file which i'll be linking in description box below afterwards uh, go to an pokemon center wait for a few seconds and afterwards return your pokemon to its pokeball and that's it come outside and you will get more fps than what you're getting before so I guess uh, this trick uh, only works sometimes, I wanted to let you guys know that and uh, if you live outside a house and if you still get the same amount of FPS that you were getting before then just try restarting the game few times and see if your FPS increases because in my case, in my Poco X3 Pro uh, the first time I was getting same amount of FPS as soon as I left the house as you can see right here is the screen recording of the first time I left the house or Pokemon Center, I was only getting 10 to 15 FPS. So I just restarted my game and after restarting, I returned my Arcanine to its Pokeball. I waited for a few seconds and afterwards, I exited the Pokemon Center and you guys saw the handcam footage before, it really works. Now let me show you guys the settings which I am using. First of all, here you can see as I mentioned before, Adreno Turnip Driver version 17. Dock mode has been disabled and force triple buffering option has also been di disabled. Now you can enable force triple buffering option if you need more FPS but it doesn't really work in my case so I have just kept it disabled. And again while screen recording or taking a screenshot you can see that it everything depends upon your processor. So make sure that your processor is actually capable of emulating Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Anything above like Snapdragon 720 processor should be compatible. But under that it will be very difficult. It will still work though. I have seen people run Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu on Snapdragon 450 processor and it works with 16 to 17 FPS inside house. But with this tri trick you might get more FPS so just apply it let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Goodbye. See you guys tomorrow.